My Lord Provost, Vice Admiral of the Fourth, Fellow Baileys, Past Provost, Deacons, and the communities of Linlithgow, Linlithgow Bridge, and Blackness. I am privileged to be given the honour of providing the vote of thanks for the virtual marches Tuesday 15th June 2021. Unbelievably, as a court and community, we have been placed in the position of a further year in a lockdown society, where we have been parted from our loved ones and friends in celebrating the riding of the marches in our traditional manner of checking the boundaries in person. But technology is a wonderful thing and I hope you have been able to enjoy the contributions throughout the day. The Deacon's Court has tried to give a flavour of the marches in a safe and sound environment. I take my hat off to Provost John, my fellow Baileys and all court members for keeping the show on the road, so to speak. There have been many occasions where filming has been carried out safely and discreetly over the past few weeks throughout the borough and goodness knows what the outtakes will turn up behind the scenes. Thanks to all the fraternities, organisations, clubs, societies, associations and groups who have kept with us in making the day for all to share. And a special thanks to Sarah Gillen, and you may wonder why. All I can say is check out the finale at the end of the day. Thanks to you, our public, for your messages, video clips and photographs and continuing to fly the flags in your gardens and from your windows. Thanks to all who entered our competitions, designed a float, dressed up, designed a shield, dressed shop windows. I mentioned earlier the amount of filming and recordings completed to make this day, and I'm sure you'll agree it's a hefty task indeed. The Deacon's Court would like to especially thank Deacon Stephanie Thompson for her dedication and hard work in pulling together our virtual marches for 2021, including this bit. There are a number of people I would like to thank. As it is, I don't know all their names. However, I am sure throughout the borough and the country, someone will know a hero who has worked or volunteered so hard in the last year in such difficult circumstances to get us where we are today. I sincerely hope things continue to improve one year more to the riding of the marches 2022. It's going to be a great day. In the meantime, stay safe, long live Linlithgow and long live the marches.